Gargle Schnack's house here. Welcome back to Gargle News. Today, we have some interesting topics. Let's get into it. We start with Xbox Game Pass. They're adding some new titles this month, and also some are leaving. PGA Tour, LEGO 2K Drive, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider highlight some of the new additions. Back for Blood and the Amnesia Collections are two that are leaving. Overall, not a lot of changes, but a couple that could be noteworthy. In classic YouTube fashion of following trends and trying to cash out on anything possible, YouTube added games to its platform. This is currently only available if you have experimental features turned on, but it is a weird step for YouTube to be making. A platform for people to watch videos and streams, not play games. Most of the games on there are also just rip-off games of something that you would see on like TikTok ads or you would see under like a video having like Family Guy next to it or something. And uh, they also have some classic games on there like chess and even some old like Google featured games that you could click on um, that have been ported and repurposed as now YouTube games. And I don't really think this edition will really do much to YouTube, both help or hurt as a platform, but it is an interesting decision to see being made by them. LinkedIn, a popular professional social media platform, may be venturing into gaming, albeit in a limited sense. The platform is adding puzzle games similar to like Wordle and things like that in an attempt to keep up with other social media giants like Instagram and TikTok. LinkedIn is owned by Microsoft, which is likely an easy route for them to get into the gaming scene since, as I'm sure all of you know, Microsoft is one of the biggest companies in the video game industry. Why can't big name games, especially like GTA 6, start waiting on announcing until they have a confirmed release date near in the near future? Too many times now, games are releasing way too early due to pressure from consumers, only for the consumers to ultimate, ultimately be let down, complaining, and begging for changes and refunds. A large example of this is Cyberpunk 2077. They announced way too early, only for consumers to want it out as soon as possible, forcing the devs to cut corners and push out a game that they weren't even proud of. It's not until three years later now that Cyberpunk Punk 2077 CEO says that he is truly happy with the state of the game. If they only would have waited maybe another two years to announce and then release a year later, the game would have done significantly better. Instead, Cyberpunk 2077 is generally now remembered by its memes and failure of a release. With all the hype of GTA 6 now, and a super far release date, I fear the same. Especially with there already being reports about potential delays for the game, GTA 5 has been doing super well and while people were for sure wanting there to be in another game to replace it, it didn't need to be announced so early. Granted, it was leaked before their, they released the, their video, but why even make an announcement video when the game won't be coming out for a couple years? I really hope that they focus more on the quality of the game rather than getting it out as soon as possible just to satisfy the customers, just for the customers then to complain about the the issues that it has. Better for us to all be patient and wait for a good game than to force the company to release it too early and then complain about it. This past weekend, Raja Karuth won his first NASCAR race. His victory is noteworthy because his, he attributes a lot of his growth from playing racing sims as a kid. This follows a trend of a lot of new gen athletes playing video games. Max Verstappen, the best F1 racer right now, is a huge gamer. He actually was ranked globally in FIFA, I think as high as like 36 or something like that. Um, he, he's known to spend many hours playing, and he still managed to be the best F1 racer, which proves that athletes can play video games and still be one of, their, one of the best in their sports. Guys like Neymar and Carl Anthony Towns are two athletes who are also well known and both have made a second career of sorts through playing games like Call of Duty. They both stream and have actually signed contracts, with Neymar signing a contract to stream on Facebook Gaming and Towns signing to be a content creator for Luminosity. That's all we have for this week of Gargoyle News. We hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.